Hello there, my name is Richard Norton, aka Norts. I like to be considered just as a creative. I've worked in a lot of advertising and marketing agents over the years. Three years ago, set up a business, co-founded it with a woman called Kerry Harrison, a very talented woman called Kerry Harrison, called Tiny Giant. And recently, I've also set up something called Get Norts. And what I'm working on at the moment is the intersection between kind of creative ideas for advertising and marketing, colliding with kind of technology. I'm kind of intrigued, Norts, to find out what you're going to be doing at this tech festival. What's this one going to be about? Oh, 13th of October, 6.30 p.m. at a, an old stomping ground of the Square Club. Uh, what's weird about it, it's the first event one has done live with people in the room for uh, 18 months or so. But this is going to be something different. This is a first. This is something that's going to be called You Get What You Get, right? Which comes from the saying that someone once said to me in advertising, you get what you get and you don't get upset, right? Uh, and what we're going to do thematically, it's the Bristol Technology Festival, so therefore it should have a technological bent. But equally, I come from a sort of creative marketing advertising background. Mm. One of the arenas in all over this year is the sort of crypto space. So we're, we're focusing very specifically on non-fungible tokens and what they can't do. Well, they, they can do many things. And then you'll see fungible tokens and there's the association with blockchain and crypto, et cetera, et cetera. So I'll probably do what I do, which is kind of I'll host it and glue it together. But we'll also have some very, very good guest speakers, such as Irfan Watkins of Chapel Live and Terence Riley of Alter, uh, and also Derek Ahmadzai, uh, who's an associate of mine, talking about different facets of NFTs and where they are in the world. So we'll talk about some of the projects we've kind of touched on working on, some of the things in the wider world that are happening. Irfan, on the other hand, is going to talk about one of his many businesses, but this one, Chapel, which is essentially about creating revenue for performers and live venues. So we thought one of the things we do, well, if it's going to be about music, essentially it's going to be the, live, the Chapel Live launch at our event. So I thought, well, we might as well get a band in, don't we? Let's have a band as well. So we have got a, a band called Tiny Dino. So they're going to perform at various points during the evening. The music they they create, photographs that are taken, it's going to all be turned into NFTs. Or um, yeah, it's going to be kind of mad. There's probably going to be a few surprises. I'd be very surprised, Carl, if it was a dry, dull event. <laughs> I suppose one of the things we've always tried to do is when you talk about these things, it's easy. I'm sure at tech events, they can get sucked into the sort of to go deep. But <clears throat> we've always taken a sort of real attitude of low code, no code type view. But this is an interesting one because we're at the Square Club, a little bit of the issue of social distancing. We're very kindly, they've allowed us to have the two floors. So I think hot. what Bristol does with the tech festival is brilliant. You know what I mean? And I think kind of we're one of the only the, the few cities hey, that has this really cool kind of collaborative ecosystem. I mean, what, what's your view and, and why are you always keen to be so involved in, in the tech festival? Well, it's interesting. When I was always in an advertising marketing world, that was my kind of universe. It was all about ads and brands and businesses. Technology. I wasn't really au fait with the Bristol technology sink. And then when one left and sort of tried to intersect creativity and technology, realized that you had to reach out to this community and you had to talk to the sort of people at the engine shed and you had to find out who were the movers and shakers, who are the people who are doing investment, who are this, that, and the other. All the really brilliant people exist in this Bristol tech scene. I think, like you say, Bristol seems to thrive on amazing projects being created through collaborative means. And this is an opportunity to see some of those people who, and some of the amazing things they're doing. I mean, there's a lot of world leading businesses, isn't there, in the technology space in Bristol. On the one hand, it's to celebrate that. On the other hand, it's kind of amplifies some of the maybe smaller things that are going on that you don't know about. It's just a nice little voyage. It's a voyage of discovery, isn't it, over that time? What I always love though is, is, is you kind of speak to people that have lived in the city, works in the city, all their life here but they didn't know about it i think the more we can all shout about it and do things to promote it and get more and more people involved yeah. and, and again a lot of i think great ideas great thoughts that lead to something start very often by very random collisions with people you just do not know who you're going to talk to who you're going to collide with it's going to be great fun and um, yeah looking forward to it